In this playlist, we have been exploring the pronunciation, meaning, spiritual significance and the practical benefits of each shloka from Saundarya Lahari. If you have not watched the previous videos of this playlist, make sure you at least watch this introductory video for more context. In this video, we are going to explore the second shloka of Saundarya Lahari in all its detail. The Sanskrit channel is an effort to explore a vast variety of topics from original Sanskrit literature. If you wish to support this effort, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution through these options. Your support will help us create more of these videos more frequently on more number of topics. Do check out all the links in the description below. Let us first look at the pronunciation of this shloka. As we learnt in the introductory video, each line of this poetic meter Shikharini is composed of 17 syllables which are split into two groups of 6 and 11 syllables each. Taniyam sampamsum tava charana panke ruhabhavam virinche sanchinvan virachayati lokana vikalam vahatyenam shaurihi kathamapi sahasrena shirasam hara sankshudhyainam bhajati bhasito dhulana vidhim let us now look at the detailed meaning of this shloka. Sanchinvan dhulin, collecting the smallest dust particles, tava charana panke ruhabhavam, which are below your lotus feet, virinchihi, Lord Brahma, lokan avikalam virachayati, creates all of these worlds to perfection, shaurihi, Lord Vishnu, sahasrena shirasam, with all his thousands of heads, Vahati sustains and Haraha, Lord Shiva, Enam Sankshudya destroys all this into fine powder and Bhasito Dhulana Vidhim Bhajati and smears it on his body as sacred ash. Bhagavan Adi Shankaracharya starts describing the beauty of the goddess in this shloka. He starts the description from the dust below the goddess's feet. He says, O goddess, Lord Brahma collects the dust below your feet and from it creates all these worlds to perfection. Lord Vishnu with his thousands of heads maintains these worlds with great effort and Lord Shiva with utmost reverence powders all these worlds back into sacred ash and smears it all over his body. Coming to the existential levels of meaning hidden in this shloka, in the previous video we saw how Goddess Shakti is the energy which is manifest as all creation. In this shloka, Shankara, while praising the greatness of the goddess in a devotional sense, also conveys the very secrets of creation. Everything that is manifest, all the worlds that exist, are said to be created by Brahma, the creative power of the universe, with the minutest particles of energy. These same particles finally return back to dust at the end of a cycle, Pralaya, where Lord Shiva is poetically represented to smear them as vibhuti or sacred ash around his body. The yantra and the associated bija mantra of this shloka are like this. This sadhana is said to bestow the seeker with control over matter. This attainment or siddhi can be either targeted towards worldly ends bhoga or towards ultimate inner well-being moksha. None of these ways is looked down upon. Following either of the paths has its own consequences. The path one decides to follow is left to the discretion of the sadhaka and his guru. Saundarya Lahri Prayoga recommends chanting this shloka 1000 times daily for a cycle of 55 days in order to attain its benefits. As mentioned before, the yantra can either be used internally in line with Samaya school of thought or can be drawn using external substances as per Kaulachara. But the second method requires a lot of care and a dedicated environment to transmit. You can find a link to a high definition poster of this yantra which you can use for this sadhana in the description below. Now that we are aware of the meaning and the spiritual and practical significance of this shloka, I'll chant the shloka one more time. You can now try to chant it along with me with the yantra 
and Bija Mantra visualized within the mind. Taniyam Sampamsum Tava Charana Panke Ruha Bhavam Virinchis Sanchinvan Virachayati Lokana Vikalam Vahatyenam Shaurihi Kathamapi Sahasre Nashirasam Hara Sankshudyainam Bhajati Bhasito Dhulana Vidhim I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you wish to support the production of more videos like these, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution through these options. Your support will help us create more of these videos more frequently on more number of topics. Also, consider subscribing to the Sanskrit channel where we explore hidden gems in the vast world of diverse Sanskrit literature. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.